Look at this. Look at how adorable this little guy is. Look at him, he's so cute. Oh my god, I love him so much. I, I actually, bro, I love this cat. It's ridiculous. Like, look at that. Look at that thing. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Human Reviews channel and today we are gonna be watching the final music video in the Trench storyline by 21 Pilots, the Paladin straight music video. It is possible that this isn't the final one. There have been some theories that there's going to be either an extended version of the album or like an EP. Some people are even saying a full another album, which, let's be honest, isn't happening. We're not going to get like another whole ass album. I, th there's not a chance in hell. But an extra EP, possible, and a, a deluxe edition of the album with some extra tracks, also possible. Now... I'm not that well versed in the lore. Like, I haven't read any of, like, the letters online. I haven't done any of the deep digging and searching. My only exposure to the lore is the videos. And I have honestly become pretty invested. I mean, the fact that they've been able to tell a continued story through music videos for the past seven years, like the first one was Heavy Dirty Soul back in 2017, and then we are now here four, uh, s uh, seven years later finishing that storyline. It's very impressive the fact that they were able to do that. I love that. And not only that, I, I just see this as like an interesting story. Like I've found it fun to follow along with this, see how the plot has unfolded. And I honestly am very, very excited to see how this wraps up. Oh, the premiere started. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, we got a two-minute timer, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. I've got it. I've got it muted for that two-minute timer. So, I guess this will be a good place to like address it properly, uh, since I haven't really spoken about the album in a full-length video since it came out. Clancy, as much as I still think it's great, it has shrunk on me a tiny bit, to be honest. I, on repeated listens, have noticed extra things that I feel like could have been better about the album. I notice certain sh uh, weaknesses in the writing and the structure and the pacing of the album. And there, there are just certain songs that as a whole have shrunk on me, particularly Snapback, which I think I gave like an 8.3 when I first heard it. That's now shrunk to like a 6. Navigating... I gave, I said it was a 9.8 to a 10 when I first heard it. That's now shrunk to like a flat 9. Um, so I think it's a great album. Like other tracks have like grown on me even more. Like Routines in the Night I think is like a high 9. I think that's like genuinely like one of the best songs in their catalogue. It's amazing. Next Semester I think has gone up a few points as well. Like there's the, the, some of the band's best material on the album. But there's other things that I feel like could have maybe just been tweaked or fine-tuned a little bit to bring it up to that next level. Like, I can see how this album could have been, like, a 9 for me. But a few things that just fall short on a little bit that bring it down to, to an 8 for me. But still, it's an 8.3 out of 10. It's only shrunk uh, 4 points from an 8.7 to an 8.3. It's not a drastic change or anything like that. I still think the album's great. One of my personal favorites of the year up to this point. And I still have been returning to, like, a lot of the tracks on there a decent bit. Like, again, Routines in the Night, Navigating. Uh, oh, hold on, never mind, the video's starting. I'm gonna stop yapping. Here we go. See, this is where all the budget for the other videos went. They said all the videos were gonna be low budget, because all the budget went to this one. There's the Antlers. I wonder if Trash the Dragon is gonna be in this. I want them to work in Trash the Dragon somehow. That's a really nice shot. Oh yeah, all the budget went into this one. Like, it's kind of obvious green screen, but it it looks good. So we're back at the camp. Last time we saw the camp, I think it was in Levitate. It's cool to see that again. Nice, the yellow flowers in the back there. Oh man, we're just off. Okay, so they're seizing the vultures, which I guess is a reference to when they were saying keep a surveillance outside on that on that one song off the scale that I see. I think it was the outside. Oh no, it was no chances actually that they said that. See, here's the thing that I saw from the teaser. They raise the dead.
Here we go, here's the war that everyone wanted from these videos. I still really like this song as well. This song has honestly grown on me a little bit. As the shot that everyone was talking about from the trailer. I like how it skips the bird bit. Like the minute of bird noises. So few. So emotional. Hello, Clancy. What, that's it? Are you kidding me? Okay. So, what I'm gathering from that is that there needs to be more. Because that is so inconclusive. That is so inconclusive. There physically has to be more. Hold on a sec. Right, everyone in the in the chat of the of the stream is talking about oh double album, it's double album confirmed. What huh? So, don't get me wrong, it, it was a cool video. Uh the way it utilized uh, all of the concepts that we have seen up to this point with like seizing and then all of the all of them going in, rushing to fight, and actually climbing the tower and killing uh, the remaining bishops, except for the main one, of course. That was kind of cool. But that was so inconclusive. There needs to be, like, a, a final chapter or something like that. Honestly, if that is the end, like, the very end, nothing else outside of that, then that is kind of disappointing. I don't want this to end on a cliffhanger. I want this to actually end in a, a legitimately conclusive, definitive way that 100% wraps things up. Despite the fact that I did enjoy that video, and again, it was a cool addition to the storyline up to this point, it feels more like the cliffhanger before the final act more than it does a conclusion. Now, who knows? Maybe, maybe I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be proven wrong and they're gonna release another whole ass album on the 25th and everyone's gonna go absolutely crazy for it. But there's also a part of me that feels like, yeah, that is the end. Hey, what's up? It's me during the editing process here. I did see an interesting post a minute ago saying that at the very end of the video, you can sort of hear what sounds like the start of a new song. Which, I don't know if that's definitive. I don't know if that's exactly what that is. But it does seem to be hinting at something more. So, I don't know. This isn't me saying that it's confirmed that there's going to be more stuff coming. It's just me saying that it's now seeming more likely than not that there is going to be more stuff coming. Like, it's seven years of storytelling. Seven years of storytelling. Just for it to end on, oh, what happens next? Like, it feels like this is a cop-out ending, if it is the end. And if it's not, and there is a genuinely satisfying conclusion to this, then... I'll be very happy. But man, if this is how we close things, then that's kind of rough. Anyway, I think that's it for me. Make sure you subscribe. We're very nearly at 1k. Like, very, very nearly at 1k. Watch my reaction to Clancy. Watch my reaction to Trench. Stay subscribed, because if they do end up dropping another album, we're going to be listening to that, like, straight away. But yeah, I'll see you guys if that happens. Peace.